So Trump has been pushing these allegations of fraud, which we should know don't have any evidence to them for months now. And the fact is that a lot of Georgian Republicans believe him on this. They believe that there was fraud in the November 3rd race. Some of them are concerned about fraud in tomorrow's runoff election as well. So Trump is sort of in step with Re Georgian Republicans on this particular point. And I wouldn't be surprised, given what his last rally was like in Georgia, if he brought that up again later this evening. Biden, I think, is going to stress more about about the candidates, about the need to move forward, and sort of highlight the fact that if Georgians go ahead and elect Ossoff and Warnock, that means that his agenda will more easily get through Congress. One thing that you've heard Democrats kind of saying is that now they've got Biden in, but they need to finish the job and make sure that they take the Senate. Emily, we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off in equities today. I'm, I'm wondering what you think investors have priced in when it comes to the results that we'll see tomorrow in, in Georgia. Are they pricing in this idea of a, a split Congress where the Democrats control the House and Republicans control the Senate. And if we were to see that uh, a different result than is expected tomorrow, will we see some sort of market movement? Well, remember, we've had a split Congress for the last number of years, so this isn't going to be a huge change in the status quo if we do wind up with a split Congress moving forward. But I think at this point, it's really anyone's guess as to how this election is going to turn out. One thing that we've consistently heard from campaigns on either side is that they not only need the Georgians to turn out, but they're telling Georgians, call your friends, call your families, tell your neighbors. This really comes down to turnout and which side can mobilize their voters is going to be the one that winds up winning tomorrow. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.